emojis. Yeah. Because it's 2015, and what else would we be talking journalism. about? Journalism. It's journalism. We don't write a paper, we just talk about things. Right. Welcome to But And, the web series that Ryersonian gave me for whatever reason, and I'm going to use it to talk about whatever I want and embarrass my colleagues in the process. So this is Peter Guffin. He's the print managing editor of this week, and I'm going to talk to him about a very pressing issue, emojis. Because what else are you going to talk about other than war, pestilence, famine, depression, anything else? The migrant crisis, my own personal commitment issues. Who invented emojis? Who are they? Is that Apple? Did they invent App emojis? Apple? Was that you? I'm assuming Apple invents everything. Our producer is shaking her head no. <laughs> When I first heard the word emoticon, I thought someone made it up because I thought it sounded like a sexually transmitted infection or like a virus. I'm a late bloomer with the emoji use. I use the dancing woman, the dancing lady, the salsa lady, the... the, the it's not brought up in an emoji-friendly household. Uh, I was bothering uh, a platonic friend of mine uh, and I made the, uh, the, the finger emoji and the... Whole emoji. That's another one of my favorite emojis, is this one. So I, I don't really understand what it is. Um, but I came to it later in life and I feel that it's helped me to express myself. The poop emoji was statistically found to be Canada's favorite emoji. That doesn't surprise me at all. Another one of my favorite emojis is the running man. So if I'm saying something awkward and someone's like, what? And then I just go. So it looked like they were doing that. Stop bringing your hands closer. I don't like that at all. It was like this. I really want a taco emoji could also be a talk. I That's the grossest thing I've ever heard. Like you're running away from the conversation. Oh, that's what that means. Right? Okay. We like the poop emoji and the gun emoji. And you can read into that what you will. But it just goes. You can't be sad about poop. It's impossible to be sad about poop. Make sure to tune in next week for when the Ryersonian lets me talk about a topic they haven't approved, but I'm going to talk about it anyways. So you can catch more of the Butt and Web series on ryersonian.ca. Just go to the tag opinion. And you can also check the link down below this video and you can check out more opinions on things that I want to talk about.